Since last November, the Republican Party has been characterized as hurting, tarnished, even dead and buried. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron reports that a group of GOPers plans on doing something about it. The number two House Republican leader, Eric Cantor, announced the National Council for a New America to reach out and nourish the GOP's grassroots with positive alternatives to the Obama administration and democratic liberalism. Look, we need to go forward. Republicans do have solutions. Uh, but the best way to crystallize those solutions is to make sure that the American people uh, partner with us. Republican idea organizations are popping up all over. GOP leaders make no attempts to conceal the severity of their problem. We've been in a difficult position having lost a lot of seats in the 2006 election cycle, lost a lot of seats in the 2008 cycle. And so uh, our brand uh, has been tarnished. To polish that GOP brand, this Saturday in Northern Virginia, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush and ex-Massachusetts Governor and Presidential Candidate Mitt Romney host the National Council for New America's first town hall. Other luminaries featured at future events include Mississippi Governor Haley Barber, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, and Senator John McCain. The goals? Reconnect with the grassroots, counter the Democrats' charge that the GOP is the party of no, and broaden party appeal beyond base conservatives in the wake of Arlen Specter's defection. They'll focus on the economy, health care, the environment, education, and national security, and try to expand the GOP beyond base conservatives by focusing on core principles, freedom, and opportunity. Those principles are not just the principles that can appeal to Republicans alone. Those principles appeal to Americans. So we're trying to reach out and say, come independents, like-minded Democrats, that want to participate in the policy discussions that impact the outcome of legislation here in Washington. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich has several separate GOP renewal projects underway. And this week, former Republican Party Chairman and Bush White House Counselor Ed Gillespie launched another organization called Resurgent Republic to help counter the Democrats' spin machine in the short term and begin rebuilding the GOP bench for the long term. It's going to take us a little while to develop the answers and to reposition and to allow for new leaders to emerge in the party. The last time the Republican Party was pronounced dead was the last time a new Democratic president took the White House, Bill Clinton, in 1992. And the GOP struggled for nearly two years, but just six weeks before the 1994 midterm election, something called the Contract with America emerged and Republicans swept into a new House majority in Congress for the first time in 50 years. It's a model they would very much like to repeat and makes them think they are not too pressed for time quite yet. Brett? Carl Cameron live on Capitol Hill. Carl, thanks.